welcome back to Einstroth Academy. Today we continue our story with two members of the student council. But before we begin, let's have some insight into what our characters are thinking. Nimma Hemlock, please describe your character's inner thoughts. Well, I have another journal entry. Maybe coming to Einstroth was a mistake. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. I... I'm just trying to keep the students safe, but some people are not happy with the way I'm going about it. I think I'm doing the right thing. I hope I am at least. But... You know... You know what? I didn't come here to make friends. Why do I care what people think of me now? I never did before. Other people were, never cared about me anyway. Only my parents, well, only my adoptive parents cared about me. I'm only here to get more powerful and find that damn laboratory and burn it to ashes. Though in my search, I need to find out what happened to Aatrox. I hope he's still alive. Sincerely, Nima Hemlock. Thank you, Nima. That's a thought. Please, tell us what your character is thinking. You know, after doing presentations and fighting a creature off in the courtyard and making it into Einstroth Academy, you'd think you'd be able to sleep at night, but no. It's not the next day or the entire semester looking ahead it's a night terror in your brain an eldritch creature that stops you from sleeping and honestly it's pretty fucking terrifying but at the same time we've also resolved the security incident where one of the students got kidnapped so i guess that's relieving but what the fuck is that creature in my brain and i need to learn more about it because it is horrifying. Thank you, Azathoth. Nimahemlock. You raise your head from your monitor, your mobile device, and you see that people are gathering around the fountain. You can see students with instruments they seem to be preparing for some sort of celebration. Hmm. As a thought, you hear in the back of your brain a voice you've heard in your nightmares. You sense knowledge nearby. A source of information unobtainable to mortals. Do you wish for me to go get it? I'm gonna very panickedly just like think yes in my head and see if I can communicate with it that way. I shall do so. As a thought, you feel something leave you. Something cold and dark, something you would normally never notice until it's gone. You feel alone. For some reason, whatever's happened to you ever since taking that lamp, you've changed somehow. As you take a moment to gather yourself, the students begin playing their song. You see people gathering inside the courtyard, pairing off with one another, beginning to dance. Center near the fountain, you can see what seems to be a Medusa starting to sing. Nimma Hemlock. When I was young and wild, yes. 
You have recently just been pulled off by one Ebony Prescott. Yeah. I assume you might be a little bit annoyed. To say the least. You see on one other monitor, one of the courtyard guards are is being carefully inspected by another student. You look up from your screen and you can see this person rapidly taking down notes. You can't see what she's writing, but she seems to be muttering to herself. Oh, the newspaper is gonna love this. Is it the girl with the long hair? Like yes. the long black and red hair? Yes, okay. it is. Um, <laughs> can I tell what she's writing down at all? Uh, you can move the guard. No, I'm not gonna use Um, Pesapha, you can feel something snap back to you. It's that thing that left you, and you can hear that voice again. Things blocking me. You're being blocked? Master, you must get closer to the source. Where is it? Which direction? Your hand begins to move by itself. You can feel that you can stop it at any moment. You let it happen. I let it happen. One of your arms lifts up and points this direction. Just gonna walk that way. Just start going in that direction. Uh, around the fountain now, through the top. Go ahead, Nima. Yeah. Um. <laughs> there goes at the spot. Um. You see Azathoth uh, stand up from your table and begin moving after pointing at a random direction. Uh, what the fuck was that? And he just left without saying anything? Okay, whatever. Um, she is going to leave that girl alone because if she does anything, it's just going to make things worse. As you say that, you hear Chloe, or that girl, sorry, say something. He says, Wait, isn't that Azathoth from the student council? Why is he heading to the western building? That should be where the library is. It's closed right now. Hmm. And leave the guard. And begin sneaking, sneaking around the bushes. As a thought, please, perception check, Nima. Roll me a d3 for no particular okay. reason at all, I promise. I don't trust you. You got a dirty 20. As a thought, you're being followed. So do I know by who? Or do I just know I'm being followed? You know that there's somebody lurking around these bushes. They're not quiet. They're not hiding very well. Thank you, Nima. Mm -hmm. Do you do you continue in the building? I'm gonna turn around and wave at them. Just as an acknowledgement, and then I'm going to continue. I text Azathoth and tell him who's following him? Do I have his number? Mm-hmm. Okay, Exchange I thought so. in our building. 
Yeah, Nima's gonna tell you who's following into a student called Chloe. And that's all. You entered the building, as I thought. Yes. I, I waved at her, too. When you turn to wave at her, she kind of turns around at the light pole, writes something down as if she's busy. But every now and then she glances, side glances at you. Would it be possible that as I turn the corner, when I'm out of sight, I could cast uh, the Shadow Veil sigil to conceal myself? Or just make it harder to trace me? As you turn the corner? Oh yeah. Okay. As you head into the building and, and the door closes behind you, you conceal yourself in a shadow. For now, I believe you are considered invisible while in dim or dark light. Is that correct? Uh, all it says is granting when triggered it envelops a, the the sigil weaver in a shadowy veil, providing advantage on stealth checks and granting resistance against radiant damage. Thank you. Please roll me a stealth check with advantage. Uh, let's do that. Ooh! <laughs> we love to see that. Oh my god, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Two and four. Okay. As a thought, you try to hide, and as you turn the corner, you kind of stub your toe at the door. And as you do that, you notice that Olivia is behind you as well. As a thought, hi. Are you okay? That's. The, hey, yeah, yeah, I'm alright. Sorry, I'm a little tired and lost in my headspace right now. Right, I'm I'm a little tired. Are you are you going to the library? You know that sounds nice. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Cause I was I was gonna go too. Um, I know that on my checklist, I needed to see when that when the library is actually opening. Mm. Oh, is it is it not open yet? Not yet, but don't worry. I got a pass. She waves up a little card. Ooh. Sorry, I should have told it you um, and everybody at student council. I actually got it um, from an upperclassman. Oh, wait, wait really? I'm a go. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I forgot. I forget his name. In in something like he was really cute, honestly. But I don't oh, know. Oh, he? Yeah. All right. Well, let's go together then. All right. Uh, by the way, why are all the guards recording? It was Nima's idea. Nima thought that if the guards were recording an incident, we'd have some evidence of some students were doing, you know, wrongdoings, or there was another kidnapping. Hmm. And didn't you say that you assigned them to the dorms? I, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's five assigned to stand outside the dorms. That's where one of the incidents happened. Is this going to be temporary, or is it going to be I'm, permanent? I'm quite sure it's temporary. I feel like, you know, it's the start of the school year, things get a bit rowdy. I don't see how a little bit of added security at the start could be too bad. Right, perfect. Though it's not exactly the best solution. I don't really know what that is. It's just what we could think up at a quick moment. And where is Nima? Shit, um... You left me behind. down by the... You left by me the bench. behind. I think I left them. They're down by the bench on the right of the courtyard. Oh, then should we grab her? Like, we can have an excursion. Guess It'll be I'm... group bonding. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess my phone buzzed, so I'm gonna check my phone when I see Nima's text and just text Nima like, Oh shit, sorry, um... I'm on the... East side, not, well, west side of the courtyard, and we're going to the library. Do you want to join us? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll join you. 
Before oh, Nemo walks over, though, I am going to move this guard farther back. Because I don't like how close it is to people dancing. <laughs> it feels like... Like a cop. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you do I that. I was just like... Oh, yeah. You can right. hear a robotic voice em emanate from your device, saying, Confirmed, as it receives the orders. Okay. Nimma Hemlock. As you get closer and closer to the library, you can feel a slight heat emanate from your chest. Heat? Is it from the necklace? You look down. The necklace that you keep underneath your outfit is glowing a slight purple. It's very dim. And it's glowing. It's never done that before. Nima's gonna kind of like hold her chest, kind of like hold a necklace underneath her clothes. And... Then let go and keep walking forward. As you get closer and closer to the library, you can feel the heat get ever so slightly warmer. Olivia waves from you at the door at the doorway and she says, Hey Nima. Hi. Hi. I was wondering why Azatha just left me at that bench without saying a word. No, I I'm sorry about really? that. I'm not in the best headspace. Just That's forget right. about that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Best headspace? We just two days in. Are, are you already burnt out? No, it's alright. I just didn't sleep well last night. <laughs> uh, do you need, like, help? I, I know a lot of things that can help with sleep. No, it's fine. No, it's, no, it's... really, like, I, I think I can help. Really? Mm -hmm. What you got? Okay, so, you know how I'm a uh, vitality correction student, right? Yeah. Uh, I actually have this thing that I'm working on. It's really supposed to be for meditation. But mm. essentially, it's a spell that I'm making. It's at its early works, but it's it's supposed to calm you down. Oh, well, I, I, I don't nice. know. I, it, it might be stupid, but I thought no, it'd be that's useful. Really like, good, actually. Like anxiety, and it's like you don't have to consume it. It'll be just a spell. Yeah, you can really use it whenever you want, as long as you have magic, and yeah. No, if you ever want to try anything out, or you got new spells, or whatever the sorts, I'm always open to it. Okay, great. Um. Uh, yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> um, is Chloe still watching? She is oh, furiously writing things down. Uh, I don't think this is a good idea. I'm just gonna ignore her for the moment. Well, the thing is, she's gonna keep following us. I got you to hide. As you head down the hallway within the western building, Chloe, at this point, no longer hiding, follows you. And you finally turn upon one gigantic doorway very ornate and oldly decorated doorway. Something you might see in a, a dwarven architectural textbook. And you can see a portal being sustained right behind it. You entered the portal. Sorry, do we, or do you say we did? Do you? Can you give uh, a brief description of that again? I'm a little bit lost. There so seems to be a portal... 
near an ornate doorway. I should have said that there's also a placard saying Einstroth Academy Library. Nima, it looked Chloe's are very obviously following us. Yes. Right? Nima's gonna turn around and she's like, Hey, I've been noticing you've been following us for a while. Do you want to join us? I'm sure, but... <clears throat> uh, sure, but don't mind me. I'm just... Perceiving. Taking notes? Yeah, taking notes. We'll go with that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna turn to Olivia and ask her, Hey. Yeah? There's no library. There's this portal. Do you know anything about it? Oh, yes. So, what happens is the entire library is for the entire Einstroth Academy. There's only one library, and it's for all orders. Including the upper class one? Mm-hmm. Oh, lord. Uh, okay. But, uh... We can only go in specific times and specific days because, you know, that thing where they want to separate everybody for some reason. I don't know. I think it's all very stupid. So but... your pass is valid for now? Mm-hmm. Since it's not open yet. Does it cover multiple people? Should be. I mean, we're student council, so I shouldn't see why not. Hmm. Sure. All right. Okay. Let's yeah. go. Well, 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 let's go. Might as well. Steps through the portal. Do you follow? Do you follow Olivia? Yep. Yeah. One moment as we load. Let me know when you are inside. Oh, I'm in. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see it. There's so many snakes. This is sick. Look at all the snakes and all the little ones that are so cute. They're so cool. Wait, this is sick. They don't belong here. <laughs> <laughs> you appear in a dark room. All around you is nothing but darkness. This one rug seems to be just a rug with no floor underneath it. Ahead of you is a plain wooden door. I should say, sorry, above it is a placard once again saying library. You just stand in the middle of the door and just push it open, just walk right through. You do so, and you hear a slight chime. As you enter, you see snakes of all shapes and sizes carrying around books in their mouths, slithering across the floors, across the walls, across the roofs, stacking books into shelves, organizing papers, and in front of you is a desk with a woman with a gigantic or fairly sized white snake around her. The snake moves off to the side, and the person looks up from her desk. Hello. I'm. Hey. A, I'm guessing you're from the Order of the Winged Ferrets. Is that right? That'd be yes. correct. Can I see your pass? I'm gonna usher Olivia on. Oh yeah. Olivia waves her ass and gives it to her. Perfect! She stamps something on a piece of paper on her desk. Welcome to the Einstrad Academy. This is where you'll find information that you would normally 
come across on the internet or any other source of information. You're not allowed to take books from the library, but you are allowed to make copies. But if you do make these copies, please do not publish, publish them online. We will know. Alright. Uh, Alright. Is that one with you? Uh, more of a tag along. So, here's the proper precautions. First things first. I will I would I will need you all to please state your names and identities and your order. Olivia starts first. Olivia Summers? Vitality correction student? Order of the winged ferrets. You can see a blue hum come across her desk as it briefly shines blue. Thank you. I'm Asatoth Sarahara, Order of the Winged Ferret, Archaic Conum. Once again, the desk shimmers blue for a moment. I, <clears throat> I am Nima Hemlock. I am a secret seeker, and I am from the Order of the Winged Ferrets. Thank you. The desk shimmers blue. I am... Ashley... Winters. Order of the Winged Ferrets. Inexhaustible Vigor Student. The desk turns red. The librarian quirks her head. You want to try that again? Chloe writes something down her in her notes and repeats. Or changes her answer. Chloe, Chloe Isla. Order of the Winged Ferrets. Secret Seeker. The desk shines blue. Well, thank you. You guys have the entire day and the entire library to yourselves. If you need anything, you can come and get me. Uh, I'll be here. And once again, as a reminder, no taking any books. All right, easy enough. Yes, ma'am. I had a quick question. What days are the library open to our order? I believe you all are available at. She shuffles around papers, lifts some books. Oh, there it is. Mondays and Wednesdays. Mm, all right. All right. Yeah. Off you go. Right. Thank you. Olivia turns to both of you and says, I have something to look up. Uh, I'll see you guys. Yep, same here. Good luck. Bye. Yeah, I'm just gonna completely ignore Chloe. As a thought, as you pass by the snake, it turns around and looks at you. It hisses at me? And then curls <laughs> around your leg. Oh, can I pet him? You pet him. He's so cool. I love him. Then it unravels itself from you, uh, picks up the scroll, and then continues on. Ooh, I like it here. Nima, as you enter this room, you can see a statue of what seems to be armor. Hmm. Ob Dim blue light shines from the empty sockets of the of where the eye guard is. Okay. It's holding what seems to be a sword made of no. Hmm. 
Interesting. Um. Has my gem changed at all? Like my necklace? When you entered here, it. It pulsed. You can. You felt the heat. It was almost scorching to your skin. But it briefly disappeared. Hmm. Okay. Now it's stable. Okay. Um, Nimbus just gonna kind of keep kind of like looking around the room, seeing if it changes. Kind of looking through the books. You glance around at the books. Please roll me a perception check. As a thought, what are you doing? Um, uh, can we do Nima first? Yes. Seventeen. Nima, this seems to be a record of ancient histories and modern plays. Okay. Not exactly. I don't think this is what I'm looking for. I don't think, at least. Just gonna kinda circle, see if anything changes before they leave this room. Alrighty. Would it be possible for... Actually, can I let my body almost go limp, but not fully, and strain my, strain my skull and just think to the creature inside my brain and go, What direction? Where now? Eep. We must go down. Downwards? Is straight down? We must go down. I can sense it. I can feel its power. But there's something blocking me. Something is blocking me? We must investigate. Master. Please investigate. Alright. Headed in the same direction as Nimma, I guess. Nimma, as you enter this room, you can feel a slight breeze of. It seems to be salt or ocean air. It's a weird sensation. Uh, you don't usually. Find oceans in Einstrof. As a matter of fact, there's only one real beach in the entire city state. <laughs> it's up to you whether or not you've actually felt this feeling before. I'm gonna say she probably felt something similar, but not quite as like authentic. As a thought, inside your brain, you can hear it say, By the way, master, what was my name? Oh, okay, I have this. I have this. Alright, fuck it. Your name is Fatalis. Fatalis? Can I inquire why? It holds a special place in my heart. This sounds pretty fucking rad, so... Fatalis. A fitting name. <laughs> Nima, what are you doing? Is gonna since someone decides to come right up next to them, she's gonna be like, "You mind giving me a bit of space?" Sure. Thank you. Continue. Write something down. 
How deep is the water? Can I see the bottom? Investigation check. That's the wrong character. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 22. Oh shit, one second. You look deep into the water. You stare at it and trying to gauge its depth, where it comes from, and maybe a source. What it is. But instead, if you see something swimming inside the depths. Depths. See this. Pop up. Look at you. Hey there. H hey. Hey. How are you? Whoa, well, you're... You're a big one. Am I? Yeah, you are. What's your Thanks, name? I you're guess. so adorable. I'm Azathoth. How nice about you? Nice to meet you, Azathoth. I'm... I'm Naya. Alright. Can I touch your fur? No, not just yet. Oh, okay. What you looking down here for? I was curious, how deep is this water? Oh, um... Pretty deep. My house That's is down there. You, you have a house down there? Mm-hmm. Like, a sizable house or like a corner? Like... like a... Like sort of a cave mansion? Really? Mm-hmm. Wait, that's... sick, so it's pretty deep then. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> okay, well, you know, whatever. Well, that's pretty much my only question I had about it, but what are you doing here? Me? Oh, um, I live here, and I make sure the water elementals don't fight anybody. There's water elementals? Mm-hmm. This is... Seems like a pretty small pond on the surface to, you know, be housing so many things. Well... Let's just say that you should never judge a book by its cover. I think it's fitting since we're in a library. This is the only entrance or exit out of the deeper depths. The deeper depths? Yep. As you continue in the library, um, the more important knowledge gets recorded. And really, this is the only way out. Deeper in the library? What do you mean by that? Oh. Is this your first time? I guess yeah, that makes sense. Is... I've never seen you before. Yeah, that would make sense. But yeah, I've never been here before. Can we give the rundown? Yeah. Okay, so this is the Academy's library, and as you know, the Academy is basically a governmental force. This is where they keep all their records, information, blah 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 blah. Although, the sixth floor is forbidden for students, though. Mm. And if you ever take a book from its shelves and have the intention of leaving the library with it, I'll be here to stop you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. well, that shouldn't be a problem. Well, that and all the snakes from my friend over there. Well, the snakes are pretty fucking rad, so... You like snakes? Yeah. Oh, me too. I... I used to have this pet. I... I think I, I named her Leviathan. He was oh. like a sea serpent. Mm-hmm. How big was this Leviathan? He was really big, uh... She actually died. Oh, that's unfortunate, but it happens. Yeah, it was during the war. Uh, um, hmm. Okay. How would I proceed to a floor further down in the library? Oh, yeah. So you want to go ahead, go straight, and 
when you go straight, there's going to be a platform and then stairs leading downwards. You'll find stairs leading down or downwards on every floor until you hit the sixth floor, which you will find a... Let's just call it a... Pit of Knowledge. Okay. Where you will need something else to get anything from its records. But you won't, you won't need to worry about that since, of course, you won't go down there. No. Perfect. Good boy. Well, I must get going. Nice to meet you, Azathoth. Bye-bye. He dives headfirst back into the water and disappears in the murky depths. Nemo, what are you doing? Um, I am playing, um, is it hot or is it cold with my necklace? And looking through the books. The necklace hasn't changed. Oh. It still has that constant warmth, however, but nothing so far. Um, I am gonna take a look at this statue though. Is there like any like insert or like anything that like seeming could be like, you know, anything done to it, or is it just kind of like there? It seems to be just an unmarked statue with holding a stone great sword. Okay. Right, we're just gonna keep wandering because I am. I'm confused. Why did it scorch, and then why did it? Stop. So that confuses me. Still no change as you head to that direction. And when I left that first room, nothing changed either, right? Nothing changed. Like, no. That's okay. okay. Yeah, based off context clues, homie's booking it to the fifth floor. Okay. You head down the stairs, I believe. <laughs> well, that's how you, you get down there. As a thought, as you go down the stairs, you can hear that voice in your head. Stair work getting closer. Yeah, I know. But be careful. Why so? Someone's down there already. Oh. Doing something, it's... Whatever it is, it's very strong. <sighs> That's Since unfortunate. Magical power. It seems twisted. Unnatural. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't change a thing. I'm still booking it down. Okay. Nemo, nothing has changed from your necklace, and Chloe actually approaches you first this time. Chloe says, What are you even searching for? Um. Not sure at the moment, honestly. Going on instinct. Instinct? Alright. I have some questions for you, actually. Alright. Uh, Go ahead. Why do you have a mask on? It's for... cosmetic purposes. I, I get that. Second question. Are you hiding anything? I don't think so. Alright. The student council always hides something. <laughs> it gives you a very 
judgmental and cold look. Were you the one that ordered all the guards to the dormitories? I did. Was it done in response to that kidnapping of that young girl, Beryl, I believe? Yes. Wasn't she already found? Yes, but there was also an altercation that also happened at one of the dorms. So, so they're you're... gonna stick around for a little bit. So you're using them as a preventative measure? Yes. You write that down. Alright. How long will it last? Um... Thinking about at least a week. Okay. Maybe not much more. Maybe not much more than that. Thank you. I'll ask you if I have any more questions. He steps back. No, I don't know how I feel about having a personal stalker. I'm not. This is not in character. Not in character. This is over the table. Okay. <laughs> Internally, <laughs> Nema does not know how she feels. It's important to say, oh, it's me right now. <laughs> I, I was like, journalist walks up to you, starts taking notes, they leave. You know, I don't know how I feel about a personal stalker. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good one. Yeah, I know, so I had to make sure. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, I gotta clarify over the table. <laughs> he follows two steps behind you. It follows it. two steps behind you. Um. Nema is on little stairs. Nema's gonna go. Oh yeah, I want to clarify real quick. My intention with going down these stairs is just purely to investigate the door. Fine with me. I, I wish she wasn't following me. <laughs> And then it's gonna head downstairs since she... just to cover all the bases and then maybe come back if she doesn't find anything. Both of you head down the stairs, choosing to head in different directions. As you go down, the library changes. Whoa. Let me know when you load in. Oh. This is rad. Are you both loaded in? Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. He told us to let you know. We didn't let you know. No, no. I thought I thought us saying, "Oh, that's cool," was enough, but it no, wasn't. Sorry, no, <laughs> no, not that. That was just a reaction from me. Yeah. This map looks sick. You can see that all the bookshelves are numbered one, two, twelve. They rotate on a circular axis. And you can hear a slight tick, 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 tick noise as these runes in the center circulate among, well, the center. Interesting. How does hmm. this library work? Like, just like, is there any way I can like... Because this is different than the upstairs, right? Like, completely? Um, well, that's a dumb question. Obviously it's different. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it is. Can I? Hmm. Hmm. in your head, Master. Yes. He sends the astral sea inside this room. Do I know what that is in character? You probably do. You know the Astral Sea to be a region of space between planets. Nobody's ever been there before from Astro from Einstraw. But records of it are found online publicly. 
in the form of stories, myths, legends. Nemo, what are you doing? Um, Nemo's taking a look at these first book, like scrolls or books. I'm not sure which they are. You go to the bookshelf, labeled 1, and you take a look at some books and scrolls. Uh, these books and scrolls are unnaturally bright. Hmm. Do you try to read one? Yes, actually. Please roll me a d18. That is random. I got a six. Prophetic records of Aragon. Damn. Wait, that's sick. That is sick. That's actually fucking cool. Could I also pick up a book? Please roll me a d17. Uh oh. One second as my foundry dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's just like the his like the history of Aragon or the like legend of Aragon. You want to flip through it? Yeah, a little. Yeah. The very first page it says, "All of which, the following contents of this book, has not been confirmed to be real or fake." <laughs> Sorry, found you finally loaded. Oh. I will take the very the first roll, first which is a six. Roll. That's a nine. That's a nine, sorry. <laughs> Mine was a six. Nima. The following contents of this book has not been confirmed real or fake. These are all according to prophetic Oracle readings by one Eleanor Einstroth. Oh. It mentions a story about a lone Aarakocra surviving in what seems to be a lone Aarakocra surviving to what seems to be a forest. This Aarakocra, Aarakocra was orphaned and was taken in by dwarves. <laughs> Wait, this is sick. You skip a few pages and it talks about a transformation. A transformation into a dragon after encountering a being in some unknown realm. Then the story takes a turn. You see s some pages blacked out. This unusually luminescent book closes suddenly. But before that, please roll me a perception check. As you manage to catch a glimpse of what it said on the last page. I didn't. No, I didn't. That is a six. Aragon peacefully died. That's all you catch. Alright. Uh, Nemo will set it back on the shelf. And keep wandering. As a path. You pick up a book, 
and it's labeled Plant and His Kin. By Eleanor Einstra. Yeah, no, I'm open on it. 100%. Once again, it provides you up with a disclaimer saying that the contents of this book may either be true or false. You think half the book was misleading for it talks about an Asimar. A noble turned baker turned noble again turned king. As you flip through the pages, you can tell of a man of sorry. You can tell of a plant. who forged his stories through war and conquest, eventually creating an empire, which he called Aldebaran. <laughs> That's so sick. Do you keep yeah. reading? A hundred percent. Undoubtedly. As you keep reading, it begins to talk about his kin. About a group of adventurers that appeared before him. Not much is said after this. But eventually, it says that Patrix was killed in battle. Hmm. Ain't that cool? Uh, close the book and <laughs> is it okay if I pick up another one? E <laughs> sixteen. <laughs> We're rolling high tonight. Yikes. <laughs> This book is not like the others. Still different. It is not luminescent. Rather, it's dark black. Its title reads The Cursed Spear by Eleanor Einstrom. I'm gonna pick it, it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. Can I... Fuck it, we ball. You open the book and once again gives you a disclaimer. The contents of this book may be true or false. It talks about a story of a child, a tiefling child, living in a cult. One day, through some miraculous incident by a passerby, right before he was sacrificed, he was saved. As you continue on the story, it talks about the tiefling finding love, and then finding itself with a curse. Curse of a dagger. This tiefling heads to what seems to be a realm of blood and monsters and ghouls all in an effort to get stronger and live. But oddly enough, the story ends abruptly. Hmm. Put the book back on the shelf. Nemo. 
Um, then it's gonna go into a different bookshelf and just pick a random book again. E15. Six again. <laughs> Bard and her Dragon hmm. by Eleanor Einstrom. Okay. You open it. Yeah. The story begins with a young girl wandering the deserts. This young girl is accompanied by a goblin. They are currently on the way to a city called The name is stricken out Inside the city they meet a man, Nasimar, a baker, a father And as the story progresses, eventually this bard loses her friend Goblin and gains a being of cosmic proportion. Towards the end of the book, it reads, And Aphrodite was never seen again. And then we'll put the book back and we'll walk to the next shelf. You know exactly what I'm doing. I'm picking up another book. <laughs> 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 Sorry, this is so safe. Oh. It's so fun. D14. Oh shit. Um. Seven. Okay. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this fucking library, man. We're never gonna, cause I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for information. Well, he name dropped that first book. Oh, Lord. I, I can't not pick up more of them. The title of this book is The Bird of Ice <laughs> by Eleanor Einstra. Has a disclaimer on the on the front page, and it begins the story with a young bird, an aracocra. No, I'm just gonna put the book the away. After... No, I'm not messing with you. You put the book away. No, no, no. Nema. No, I felt the peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I win. All right, next bookshelf. I'm excited. I will say this is the last one. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you can't do this to us. God damn it! Dude. It'll be the last Can I get one, one for more? Today. Can I get one more? One more? <laughs> Nema, I believe yeah. it's a D13. <laughs> actually, can I switch to? I'm gonna actually. She's gonna walk to the one with the full moon. This one. Other side. Oops. It's actually gonna go to the one with the full moon. Okay. Five. D thirteen. Okay. D thirteen. Eight. Oh, thank God, a different number this time. The title of the. Whoa. The title of this book is A Secret Shared by Secret Eleanor Sh Einstrom. Okay. You open it? Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Nemahemlock, please. 
Roll me a wisdom saving throw as you look into this oh. book. It's a spicy book. Seven. Why am I rolling so low? Lemma Hemlock, you put away the book. Can I try to pick it up again? What book? You son of a bitch! No! No! What am I <laughs> yeah, doing? The book put itself away. <laughs> As a thought. Last one question mark. D12. Let's go! Oh! <laughs> The title of the book is Finn by Eleanor Einstroth. First page Disclaimer This book is about a young man living in what seems to be a pirate town. This man was short of stature. But he was well known of his reputation of being a fighter. One day, a war enwrapped the land, and he was sent to find someone. Eventually, this young man finds a group of people inside a burning town. This young man finds his heritage, a heritage not of the world he resided in. This young man is then moved, moved to a place where even this book doesn't understand. You can see the letters being mangled. Sort of moving themselves together. Roll me an intelligence check as you try to understand what it's actually saying. We love all of the Nat ones today. You only catch one word out of all this jumbled mess. And that word is paper put the book away <laughs> this is the karma man <laughs> it, yes being moving downwards to Sorry, can you repeat that? The creature is heading yeah. closer and closer to it. It's almost there. Do you think it's trying to take it? I don't know. But we shall get it first. Alright, well, I guess that reactively with the pep in my step and I'm on my way down. Then my D go downstairs. Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Both of you go downstairs. Followed closely behind by one <laughs> Chloe. I'm gonna kill Chloe's her. just looking at us like these guys are fucking nerds, man. She's stalking me. Like, I'm about ready. She's stalking you. She ain't stalking me. Son of a bitch. It sucks. Let me know when you are loaded in. Okay. I'll do it this time. Oh, I'm in. You go down a spiral staircase, which eventually leads to a 
room full of stars and planets. Something that you don't usually see. Inside this room are things that you don't really understand. Like, for example, why is, is this entire room rotating? Hmm. Any change with my necklace? You feel your necklace burn a little hotter, shine a little brighter. As a thought inside your head, you hear, We're getting closer. This is very difficult for me to say. I feel really bad, but I'm looking for the staircase. <laughs> I want to look around too, but I have a feeling. You can look around if you need to. No, the thing is, I have a feeling I have to go deeper as well. We need to go deeper. Into the caves. The children yearn for the mines. Sorry. Dude, I feel so bad. I want to, like, book spam that right now, you know? <laughs> it's so fucking rad. I'm assuming. Oh shit, no, yeah. That's not she couldn't great. switch over to Azathoth for a little bit. Damn. You both go down the stairs. As you go down the stairs, you begin to smell the scent of dust and ash. As you enter the room, you see moving bones with, attached to what seems to be rocks. Bones are glowing a brilliant blue, and you can hear them rattle as they talk to each other in a language I believe none of you can speak. Um. I don't know how to check my language. Let me look real quick. How the only check? ones that I have is Elvish and Sylvan. How do you check? Uh, just looking. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I'm I'm there. On the right side, it should say languages. Because you know common, under common, and moth folk. Okay. Oh. I know now. <laughs> Oh, I see it. All right. As a thought, once again inside your mind, it says, <laughs> "We're getting." <laughs> Nima, your necklace shines brighter. I'm okay. I need, like I need to dump this chick though. What's the uh, the plaque say? This this plaque? Mm-hmm. Mythical creatures of old. The appearance of dr appearance and disappearance of dragons in the land of Einstraw. What's actually behind the plaque? Like what's that scene? It seems to be a mural depicting a tree with dragons on top of it. Okay. Can, um... While he was looking at... Like, Nima ducked around this corner, and... Nima's gonna... Use... I'm trying to at least kind of ditch her by just going quicker and maybe a little stealth. A stealth check. Yes, I will. Please. Don't fuck- Oh, thank fucking god. Thank you. <laughs> and... As the thought, you see 
behind you, Chloe, looking from side to side, trying to find what seems to be Nima, but she can't find her. The door is before she's walking. Okay. <laughs> One second, if my foundry dies, you walk yeah. through the doors. <laughs> You see the bones. They're pretty fucking sick. I love these maps. They did a really good job. Um, Nima is gonna rift tunnel through this wall. Um, that's more of like a... Can I or not? Like a... What's it called? A balcony? Kind of? Is it a balcony? Yeah. Okay, so I can just jump off? Yep. Okay, I didn't know it was just a balcony. Yeah, Nima's just gonna jump off. Medusa. And start heading towards the stairs and just stealth looking at running. As I'm walking by, do I glance at this plaque? Like, what's it say? Okay. What is this plaque? That's a thought. You walk by the snake and you read the plaque. It says. Jormungandr. That's all it says. Huh. Alright, into the staircase. Snake knowledge picked up. You go down the staircase and once again... You hear the voice say... You are here. You're so close. What level are we on? This would be three, right? So the next one's four? Oh my yes, lord. Nemo, as yes. you head to this floor, you your necklace is shining a brilliant purple. You see an ornate hallway with a what seems to be a dragon skeleton implanted in the center of the room. Behind it, a snake hovers around, sniffing the air, then closes its eyes as if going to sleep. You see small and medium snakes walk around with books. Dusters, mops, brooms, cleaning the floors. Yes, they have snake brooms. <laughs> I love that. And you see a shining map with a man sitting down reading a book. I can't see. I think he's at the very top. Oh, there he is. Oh! I wasn't showing up before. Um... If, if I had to guess, would this be the floor that I need to be? That's what it seems like. Okay. And then it's just gonna keep kinda looking around, browsing the books, anything that stands out to her. All the titles seem to stand out, but would you care to pick one? Um yeah, Nemo will pick one up. What floor is this? Four. Floor four. four. Roll me a D thirty two. Ooh, okay. Oh, one, eight, thirty-two. Eight. Why do I keep rolling so damn low? Well? Eight. Yes, eight. How to construct a Fey portal? One oh one. Oh. By Drake Wimskins. 
<laughs> Three? We know Drake who? Wimpskins. Okay. Um. Nimba's gonna read it. You go to open the book and you see arcane lettering appear before your eyes. It says, Constructing portals to other realms is strictly prohibited and illegal under the Einstroth Academy laws. Anyone who attempts to construct a portal to another realm will be severely punished. Hmm. Okay. Alright, Nemo will continue reading. Nemo doesn't plan on making a portal anytime soon. <laughs> to create a portal to the Fey Realm, you need the blood and essence of Fey creatures. Oh. One true example of a Fey creature, creature able to be harnessed to create a f portal to the Fey Realm. The Sylph. Okay. Alright. One primary ingredient is a Sylph's wings. Do note that if a wing, if the wings of a Sylph is ever removed, it will cause the creature to die. That's not good. Okay, um, does it talk about, um, uh, thinking, what else does it really say? Is it just talking about how to, like, build a portal? How to build a portal. Okay. As I thought. Nimba. Yeah, then we'll set that down. Okay, it's me. What do you do? Well, I'd like to go down. You go deeper. That's there. Thing. One with this twisted magic. We just passed it. Hmm. Well, are we closer to the goal, or is it? We're closer now. Um, so she, it's a little thingy. It's either no, the... No. Sorry, go ahead. No, I'm uh, sorry, I'm just thinking nerd shit. Nemo. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh... Pick them, like, you mean just like, go ahead with whatever I'm doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, then I might grab another book. I might try to talk to this guy. Maybe. We'll see. Nemo, as you get closer and closer to the north end of this room, your necklace shines brighter and brighter. Um, okay. Okay. The man. Just gonna... The man appears you... to be concentrated on his book, not perceiving you. Okay, Nima's just gonna kind of like ignore him at the moment. Still trying to figure out where her necklace is trying to lead her. Nemo, your necklace changes color. More bright red. Oh. Right when I stand next to this guy? Yes. Um. Excuse me, I'm sorry if I'm bothering you. 
Um... Can I ask you your name? The man looks up from the book. Looks at you with a mask on. And looks back down at the book. Is he ignoring me? He's ignoring me, isn't he? It seems like. Um. How do I? How do I? Um. The only reason I'm bothering you is because, um. I have this necklace, and it hasn't done anything until today, and it started glowing in purple, and now I stand next to you, and it's red, and I need to see she, my curiosity, because my I've had this necklace for years, and it's never done anything like this. He looks up from the book, looks at you, stares at you for an unusual amount of time. <laughs> then goes back to reading his book. Son of a bitch! Um... Damn, how do I get him to respond to me? Um... Nima will start, like, kind of, like, pulling the necklace out of her, like, clothing, just, to, like, to show him, and she's like, see here? And I guess I should have introduced myself. I'm Nima Hemlock. Please just, um, humor me. It looks up from the book. It's back down at the book. This you time, son of standing up and moving. Uh, I, uh, it's, I, okay, this, no. Is it his, it's it's his is it him or the book? Your necklace turns from a bright red back into purple. Your necklace turns into red once again. Please, I will just leave you alone if you just humor me. He sets down the book on his lap. Then he looks at you. What? I am curious if the book you have or you is causing my necklace's reaction. And... Why should I care about your necklace? You don't have to, but I'm wondering if you know anyone by the name Aatrox. Uh, that's my name? How did you uh, know that? Uh, you're Aatrox. There's, uh, there's no way after all these years I just run into you at a fucking Einstrauf Academy. know who you are and I must warn you how did you get that name he stands up drawing a Nim gigantic great sword please with don't one hand me. from out of thin air his other <laughs> hand conjures another dagger Nima's gonna rip off her mask immediately and she's like Aatrox it's it's me you remember right You rip your mask off for the first time 
in what seems to be years. And this person stands in front of you. Is that supposed to make me want to do something? John! How you did you remember? get that name? I... The laboratory, don't, don't you remember? What laboratory? You don't remember the laboratory? What did they do to you? I don't know who you are, but I will need that information. About how I know your name? Yes. I... Well... I was hoping you'd still remember, but I guess after all these years... Um... Well... I knew of a boy named Aatrox when I was captured. By a... A facility, a laboratory, I'm not even sure who or what they were, because... As you can see... I'm a self. And I care why? You don't have to care, I'm just trying to tell you. Explain to you tell how I Tell me who I told you my name. You did. We were, you were, I was in one cell, you were in another. I can you certainly say that I've never met you before. <laughs> well, I know you, whether you remember it or not. What was your name again? Nima. And you were a student in Einstroth Academy? Yes. Right. We'll be talking soon, Nima. I understand that no bloodshed shall be spilled in the library. But you will tell me who told you my name. I told you. You did. No, I did not. Well, then someone who was pretending to be you did, if it wasn't you. But I highly doubt it. Was it the Alexers? No. The Astorias? No. Huh. Is it the Atrastias? No. I mean, like... No, none of them. Morgans? No, I don't even know who those people are. Well, I know... I don't know the other... I know the others, I know of them. And I've met them a couple of times, but... I don't know who the Morgans You've met are. met them. Which one? Uh... Ren at... Ren, I have met Ren. So it was son. the address Diaz. No, Ren never told me anything. I've met Ella. Ella's never told me anything. And Harlow has never told me a damn word. So it's all three. It's none of them. Hmm. You can make assumptions all you like, but what I'm telling you is the truth. I have never met you. Well, I have met you. Do you still have... the... Do you still have black hair, by chance? You seem to have a lot of information about me. What else do you know? Well, technically I do know what your face looks like. But at least when you were younger, about... God, how long has it been? 
nearly eight, ten years ago. I don't have time for this. Oh! Is it the Prescotts? I don't even know who those are, who those people are either. Hmm. Whether you like it or not, and whether you believe me or not, I am telling you the truth. Was it of royalty who told you this? <laughs> no one of royalty told me anything. You, yourself, ten, eight years ago told me. In that damn cell where you gave me this necklace. I was never in a cell. Then where were you? Do you even remember? I see what you're doing. You're trying to get information from me. Except this book. We'll be talking again soon. <laughs> Nimma Hemlock. I'm gonna scream. <sighs> Your necklace turns back to purple. Nemo is gonna throw her mask back on. And is gonna leave the library confused, dejected, and. quite. upset. Perception check as you. watch the man leave. Alright. Seventeen. At the end, of, at the end of the hallway, back to where you came from, you see Olivia go down the stairs, walk in front of the man, and say something. Can I hear her? He turns around, begins to walk alongside him. Would you like to hear what she said? Yes. Yes. Immediately. Perception check again. No, no, why? Couldn't hear. Can I? But you did catch follow? one thing. You heard orders. Orders. Can I try to follow? Yes, you like, can. I'm gonna try because... <gasps> Meanwhile... Okay. As a thought. Yeah? You go down the stairs... And you enter another part of the library. Let me know when you're here. I'm here. You hear the voice inside your head. We are right above it. I'm assuming I don't know this. This is floor five. Do I see the staircase down? You see it. You wish to go down it? Yes. Okay. So I'm asking because there's a wall in front of it. I just... There's a staircase. This shelf seems to be... on top of another shelf. A shelf on a shelf? You see a placard on this door say... Forbidden to students. No, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna cast the, uh... The stealth spell again. No and then... need to stealth, stealth check at advantage. DC 18. Fuck. 
You cast a spell. This room. This sigil. And you go to open the door. But as soon as you do that, all the snakes in your vicinity turn to look at you. <laughs> Can I play it off to make it look like I was picking up a book? <laughs> Roll me a performance check. A 19. What do you do? Tell me what you do as a thought. As you so try imagine, to play this off. Imagine if I was to open a door. So it's like the, it's like just a shelf that you push. There's a doorway underneath the shelf. Well, I'm if I'm guessing I'm bending my down to go look at the door, I'm just gonna lean forward a little bit, grab one of the random bugs. Just pick it up, step back a few steps, and just open it. Keep it simple. I'm in a library. I'm trying to read. You do so. <laughs> the snakes turn back around. And continue what they're doing. Carrying around papers, moving books, organizing the shelves in general. Hmm... Can I read the book for you? Oh. So close. I, I know, but if I go down the staircase, I'm gonna get caught. You don't have any ideas, or just... You, it's a tough spot. I cannot receive the knowledge. Unless we go down the stairs. Isn't this what you wish for? It, it, yes, it is. I, I want so badly to go down there, but I'm afraid if I open the door, we'll be forced out of the library. This is the quickest way to achieve your wish. And you are still scared of being caught. No, you're you're right. You're you're right. And as he says that, I'm just gonna fucking book it. Why not? You open the door? Hundred percent. I open the door and I just fucking book it. You open the door and you rush inside. You can hear books being dropped behind you. When you enter this room, let me know when you are here. I'm here. It's quiet in this room. The snakes do not move, and you can see three ginormous snakes guarding what seems to be an endless bottom an endless and bottomless pit of well girls is my little brain guy saying anything my brain buddy get closer to the pit well if they're not doing anything about it i'm gonna walk right up to the edge Closer. I'll get closer. Can't reach it. Jump. Jump! Fuck it, we ball. I jump. Straight down that pit. Well, instead of jumping, it's more like a flight kind of light glide down, but I do. I go down. I go down. You glide. Heading towards 
the bottom of this endless pit. And as you do, you go somewhere else entirely. Azathoth, we will need a private session sometime. You will need All to right. schedule that. Is that fine with you? Yep, hundred percent. Okay. Taste it. Oh, I can finally have it. We're nearly there. Meanwhile, Nimahemlock. You follow Olivia and Aatrox up the stairs. Let me know when you are back. All right. Like back on the map. Yes. Okay. Please roll me a perception check and a stealth check. Okay, um, it is loading still. Are you sure you sent my thing there? Because it's not even loading, actually. Let's... One second. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so stealth and... <laughs> now, what was the other one? Perception? Yes. Okay. At least I got a 15, I guess, in perception. You hear a couple more words about what they're saying. You hear Olivia say, Wow. So even the Morgans are on our side? Okay. How about Ebony? Is she still... Oh, she is. You're going to meet somebody. Who? Ren. Rin's what? Oh, no. But if that's true, you can convince us. Convince. You can convince Ren to join us. And we ha and we'd have another. Okay. What do I have to do? All right. And that's when Olivia notices you. Oh, Nima. Hey. Hi. What are you up to? Well, I was searching for something, but didn't exactly find it the way I last saw it. Really? Um, what were you, what were you searching for? A person. A person? There's only snakes here. Mm-hmm. Now, Olivia. Tell me what you know about Aatrox. Aatrox? Who's Aatrox? Guy in the mask, what do you know about him? Oh, that guy? I just met him. Did you? Mm-hmm. Surprising that he'd want to talk to you when he barely wanted to talk to me. I just have that effect on people. Do you? Mm-hmm. Insight. Go right ahead. DC 12. 
Motherfucker, are you kidding me? Oh my god, do I even get advantage? Do I get advantage? I believe you have an inspiration. I do have an inspiration. Fuck, I do. One second, I'm re-rolling that because that is... Terrible. Okay, there we go. 20. Uh... When she said who's Aatrox, she seems to be utterly confused who that is. Mm hmm But she is hiding something. Olivia, I need to know, for my own sanity, what you know. Sorry, you what? I... <sighs> What do you know about that man you were just talking to? Anything? Uh, nothing. He's lying. You know something. I can tell you're lying. I'm not stupid. I... Are you okay, Nima? <sighs> I'm more than okay. Now I just know you're a liar. Mm, I don't know what you're talking about Olivia please just be honest with me Emma you're scaring me I'm not trying to scare you I just want you to be honest please what be honest about what but why you're here, why you're talking to him, why you were talking about Ren, and why he's meeting up with Ren. What? The Who's meeting up with Ren? <sighs> As you have this conversation, if you see Chloe walking around and then finally spotting you begin to walk towards you and who's meeting with who N again Nima you're scaring me we will talk about this later Olivia when we have another chance oh um, hi, Chloe. Hi. What's going on here? Uh, nothing. Just nothing at all. Talk talking about our plans when we're gonna stop the having the guards around and what we're gonna do after that if anything comes up again. Oh, I thought you must have been talking about that guy. I was walking up the stairs. He was strange, but no, we weren't. We have more important things to talk about. I think he's part of the guard of some sort. Really? Really weird. Yeah, he had that I'm a kill you vibe to him. I don't disagree with you there. Well, we'll I'm talk later, Olivia. We'll uh, talk I'm later. I'm actually Olivia. really busy these next couple days. I need to study and then we'll talk when we talk. Bye! Have a good night, Nima! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well then. Did I mishear something? Something about we're being scared of you. Yes, you did. Don't worry. What? I don't... Hmm? What? You misheard. We were just talking about the I guards and our next plans. Don't mishear. Whatever you believe. Wait. 
weight. You think a four foot person can terrify someone? You can terrify somebody in different ways. But why are you trying to go so quickly? Do you have somewhere to be? I actually found what I was looking for. Found the book. Wasn't. What book was it? Uh. It was. A book about portals, actually. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. I was looking into the history of it because I, you know, make riffs and it's just interesting to me. I guess that makes sense. You write some things down. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna go. Hmm, okay. Oh, actually, I do have one more question. Yes. Does Harlow Astoria actually smell like apples? Oh, uh, yes, yes, she does. Oh, good, I needed that for my next newspaper feature. Thank you. No problem. And is the uh, Nima is going to head out. And you leave. Where do you head off to, Nima? Nima is going back to her dorm and she is going to stalk cameras to figure out where Olivia is going and if she can see Aatrox as well. Nima. As you dock the cameras, you find Olivia walking back to Celestia dorms. Or she stays in for the rest of the night. Alright. Nima, are you back at your dorm room? Yes, yes. Nima would have went back and would have placed an alarm spell on her door, like in her room. Nima. You hear a tap on your door. <sighs> Nima will... Is there like a little peephole? Yes, there is. Uh, Nima will look through the people. You see a familiar white robe, black mask, in his hands two daggers, on his belt a potion. He's coming to kill me, isn't he? And that's where we're going to end the session. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.